I'm Landon Schott, author of the book, Gay Awareness, Discovering the Heart of the Father and the Mind of Christ on Sexuality. I get asked all the time, how should a Christian respond to homosexuals or someone struggling with same-sex attractions or even transgenders? And the truth is, is you respond like anyone else. We love people. We should love them like Jesus teaches us to love everyone. The question is not about love. It's about our definition of love. See, we use love for everything. We use love for our favorite food, our favorite restaurant, our favorite color, our favorite movie, our favorite store. And then we use that same definition for God. So we're using the same word to compare food to our God. We define love as a feeling, but God defines love as obedience. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we call it the love chapter, and it's God describing love. And not one verse in 1 Corinthians 13 has anything to do with sex, except for 1 Corinthians 13, 6, where it says love does not delight in evil. So if the Bible declares homosexual practice to be evil, then that means it can't be a part of God's definition of love. So if two people love each other, why can't they be together? Because it's not God defining love. If we love individuals, we're going to speak the truth, and we're going to speak the truth in love. The greatest example of loving someone in sin is Jesus in John 8, where he finds a woman who was caught in the very act of adultery and mean religious Pharisees wanted to stone her. And Jesus got in between a woman in her sin and religious accusations. He said to the religious people, you without sin cast the first stone. Then he said to the woman caught in adultery, I don't condemn you, but go and sin no more. That's how we need to respond as Christians. We need to stand in between the religious Pharisees and people in a life of sin and let them know like Jesus, God loves them. And then tell them, go and leave your life of sin. See, the Great Commission in Matthew 28, Jesus tells his true disciples, go out and preach the gospel in all the world. And what? Teach them to obey the commandments. What do we do as Christians? We love people with the love of God and the truth of what love really is. When it comes to homosexuality and Christianity, we must be unrelenting in our love for people and unwavering in our loyalty to God's word.